Hi everybody, Bill Black at Spirit River. Today I want to tie a uh, UV2 sparkle done for you. And uh, this fly basically came out of uh, Blue Ribbon Flies. Uh, Craig Matthews ties a, a beautiful one and he's the innovator on this. Him and his crew do a great job. Uh, we've done a little bit of changing to it, of course. I can't leave anything alone. I'm always trying to make things better. Not that it can be improved on, but what we are doing is we're using our new UV2 materials. Um, we're first to come out with a whole line of flies and materials, uh, dubbings, hairs, feathers that have been UV art and UVF. If you want to learn more about this, you can go watch my video that I hope my son and TJ get up online pretty quick. Uh, anyway, let's get started on this. Again, uh, I haven't tied too many of these. I have fished a lot of these. I love it. I think the UV2 aspect uh, is certainly going to help. Uh, this is a, a large one. This is a size 12. Uh, normally you want these in probably a 14 to a 20. And what I'm going to do here is we do a whole series of, well I shouldn't say a whole series, we do deer and elk in UV2. We're going to have a little UV2 sticker on the back of it. Um, we're also, uh, now that I mentioned the labeling on that, like on our peacock that we're doing UV2 and a lot of our quills, uh, we're putting, we're dipping them into a purple dye right at the end so that anything on your tying bench, if it's not in a bag, we hope you can identify it as a UV2 product. So you can see we put a lot of extra thought into this. All right, so I'm going to grab a little bit of deer hair, and I'm going to create a wing. I'll clip my hair out. Of course, I drop it all over myself. Measure it so it's about the length of the shank. Kind of blew that one. Wait a second. There we go. Go around lightly once or twice and then cinch it up. Now I'm going to lift it up to make sure that I've got about the right length. I know it looks like terrible underneath, but that'll be fixed. Okay, so I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to take a few wraps under it. I'm going to take a one fairly loose wrap, kind of like a parachute, kind of posting it. And again, I use my thumbnail a lot on this, and you'll see me squish this around some. Um, you're going to get some weird deer hair sticking out at different angles. So as long as it, you flip it over and it looks pretty good from underneath, that's what you want. And this should be sitting about, it should be flared about halfway around the shank. Okay. At this point, I like to run a little bit of thread through that wing. And it widens it out a little bit. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to make a body. And a tail. Now this is some of our UV2 Spectron. And I need uh, I like a double shot of this. Oops. I'm going to work this up towards my wing. I'm going to clip that so it's about the same length as the wing. Go 
Got a pretty awesome body developing here. I want to keep it fairly thin. I'm going to go in here and cut out about half of that sparkle yarn. I am now going to take a biot and I got to get a piece of flash. So excuse me a second while I get a piece of fl uh, flat flash or crystal flash. It doesn't matter. Our crystal splash works quite well with this. <clears throat> so all you have to do is tie that in. And I'm going to tie in a biot. I'm going to run my thread way back on that. So I'm beyond the, the barb. And now I'm going to come forward. And if there's any weird bumpules in this, you want to try to straighten them out with your thread right now. And again, I try to keep this relatively thin. I'm still trimming out a few of those hairs on the wing. Okay, now the trick is I've taken a piece of plastic bag, old plastic bag, and I put a drop of super glue on it. And this is a great way to control your super glue. I'm going to uh, put just a little bit of that over and under before I wrap my flash. And with all the UV2 flies I use white thread because I want a bit of reflection coming out of the fly. And where possible I'm going to use pearl or silver or even holographic flash under the bodies, under the thoraxes if you can. Uh, my belief is that actually does kick back a lot of light. Not a lot, but some. Uh, again, I'm going to take and wind that body up, but before I do, I'm going to make sure that that biot does not break. Oh, I got two biots. <laughs> I wonder if I could wrap them both at the same time. Let me try it. I don't know, but... On this size 12, two of these is really actually quite nice. Now, you're going to see a little bit of that shine popping through on this. And part of that's intentional. Uh, because I've given a bit of a space to that. By out wrapping it up. Go ahead and trim it nice and tight. Okay, now... We're going to basically take our Blue Wing Olive or Pale Morning Done. I used a, a Blue Wing Olive uh, buyout on this, so this is basically a Blue Wing Olive, so I'm going to use the, the UV2 Spectrum. Kind of got a weird bump that I really don't like. I'm gonna. There we go. Using our Spirit River thread. We've got some great new threads. You'll really, really like them. You can get your hands on them. Most dealers carry all of this product. UV2 is new, but uh, it won't be for long. You'll find this stuff all over the place, I hope. So, now you can see this fly. Let me have my son zoom in on this a little bit. You can see how this fly is going to lay in that surface film. It's an emerger. Um, I'll spin it for you a little bit here. So you can get a complete look at it all the way around. absolutely deadly fly. I'm going to trim out a little bit more of this tail. Anyway, this is our UV2 um, Sparkle Dunn Emerger. Uh, feel free to try this fly on monstrous fish on your home waters. Thanks for supporting Spirit River. Have a good day.